Welcome to my YouTube channel Master Auto Information. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the videos. The year is 2025, and one of the most iconic aircraft in aviation history the SR-71 Blackbird has returned, not as a mere tribute, but as a modern, futuristic force to be reckoned with. Originally developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division in the 1960s, the SR-71 was a strategic reconnaissance aircraft capable of flying at speeds over Mach 3 and at altitudes above 85,000 feet. For decades, it was unmatched, operating in the shadows, far above and ahead of any threat. But in this new era of hypersonic warfare, artificial intelligence, and stealth drone swarms, the questioner who seek could the Blackbird legacy evolve? And now, in 2025, we have an answer. The SR-71 has been reborn and not as a replica, not as a museum piece, but as a state-of-the-art, next-generation aircraft known unofficially as the SR-71 Blackbird 2.0. Built with cutting-edge technology, the 2025 version takes the DNA of the original and fuses it with 21 ST century capabilities, transforming it from a spy plane into a high-speed, high-altitude multi-role aircraft. This video will dive deep into the technology, design, mission profile, and the purpose behind this legendary aircraft's comeback. The 2025 SR-71 Blackbird isn't simply an updated airframe. It's been completely redesigned using lightweight composite materials, advanced ceramics, and stealth shaping that borrows heavily from modern stealth aircraft like the F-22 Raptor and B-21 Raider. The original titanium skin, while revolutionary in its day, has now been replaced with nano-layered composite materials that not only reduce radar signature but also dissipate heat more effectively during high-speed flight. This was a critical enhancement, as the original Blackbird would glow red-hot during its missions due to the immense friction from flying over Mach 3. The new SR-71 features variable geometry inlets and an adaptive engine system developed by Lockheed Martin and J Aviation. These engines are based on hybrid cycle technology, allowing them to operate efficiently both in subsonic, supersonic, and even hypersonic ranges. What that means is simple, this plane can go faster really fast. While the original Blackbird was capped around Mach 3.3. The 2025 version reportedly pushes beyond Mach 5. That's more than 3,800 miles per hour, faster than most missiles and capable of outrunning nearly every threat on the battlefield. But speed is only part of the equation. In the age of 5th and 6th generation warfare, stealth and electronic dominance are just as important. The 2025 Blackbird has a radar cross-section that's smaller than a bird thanks to an advanced stealth skin and active radar absorbing materials. It also includes a sophisticated suite of electronic warfare tools that allow it to jam, spoof, and evade even the most modern detection systems. Inside, the aircraft is no longer just a pilot-driven machine. It's an AI-assisted platform with machine learning capabilities that can handle threat detection, sensor fusion, and evasive maneuvers without waiting for pilot input. That's crucial at Mach 5, where decision making needs to happen in milliseconds. While the aircraft is still piloted, it's also optionally unmanned. Yes, the 2025 SR-71 can fly autonomously, making it perfect for high-risk intelligence missions where sending a human pilot might be too dangerous. The cockpit has been fully digitized, featuring a holographic display system, biometric pilot control access, and real-time data uplink to satellites and command centers. The pilot wears an augmented reality helmet that provides a 360-degree situational awareness feed, drawing data from dozens of onboard sensors, satellites, and drones. Speaking of drones, the new Blackbird operates as the centerpiece of what's being called the hypersonic strike cloud. That's a network of drones, satellites, and high-speed aircraft all working together to gather intel, strike targets, and confuse enemy radar systems. The SR-71 can deploy its own stealth drones mid-flight, 
which are used to either conduct reconnaissance, perform electronic warfare, or act as decoys. As for weapons, the original Blackbird never carried any. It didn't need to it was too fast to catch. But times have changed. The 2025 version comes with internal weapons bays, capable of carrying hypersonic missiles, smart bombs, and electronic warfare payloads. It's not just a spy plane anymore it's a fast moving strike aircraft capable of both offensive and defensive operations. Its modular payload system means it can be customized for each mission whether that's surveillance, strategic bombing, or launching EMP attacks. Now, why bring the Blackbird back? In today's strategic environment, speed is once again a critical factor. With the rise of anti-access slash area denial, A2 slash SHAD, systems, traditional aircraft are finding it harder to penetrate defended airspace. Drones can be jammed. Satellites can be shot down or blinded. But a high-speed aircraft flying at the edge of space, at Mach 5, with the ability to strike or vanish in minutes offers a solution. The 2025 SR-71 can launch from a base in the US and reach any point on the globe in under two hours. That kind of rapid response capability is a major advantage in conflicts where every second counts. In terms of operations, the 2025 Blackbird is being operated jointly by the US Air Force and Space Force under a program known as Sky Shield. It's rumored to be deployed in small numbers of possibly less than a dozen units but each aircraft is capable of performing multiple mission types in a single sortie. That flexibility makes it incredibly valuable, and because of its speed and stealth, it often operates in contested airspace where no other aircraft would dare to go. The cost of such advanced machinery? Estimates put each unit somewhere between $800 million and $1.2 billion. But according to defense analysts, that's a small price to pay for an aircraft that can gather critical intelligence, eliminate threats, and return safely are all within the space of an hour. Maintenance has also been modernized with AI diagnostics and modular components that allow for quicker repairs and upgrades compared to older stealth aircraft like the F-117 or even the F-22. In terms of global impact, the return of the Blackbird sends a message. It's a technological flags of proof that the United States is still at the forefront of aerospace innovation. Other nations, particularly adversaries, are watching closely. Hypersonic weapons have become a hot topic, and countries like China and Russia have invested heavily in hypersonic missiles. The 2025 SR-71 Blackbird acts as both a countermeasure and deterrent. It can track, monitor, and even intercept some of these weapons before they reach their targets. The 2025 Blackbird also marks a shift in how future wars might be fought. With advancements in AI, high-speed flight, and real-time battlefield data, the nature of air superiority is changing. It's no longer just about dogfights or missile range. It's about information dominancy of being able to see, decide, and act faster than the enemy. The new SR-71 is built exactly for that. There are rumors that the Blackbird's next iteration will involve space capability of pushing the aircraft above the Ka tilde inverted exclamation mark RMA tilde inverted exclamation mark N line into low Earth orbit. While those reports are speculative, they align with the vision of future aerospace dominance. Aircraft that blend the roles of fighter jets, surveillance platforms, and even space vehicles. The public doesn't know everything about the 2025 SR-71, and that's intentional. Just like its predecessor, much of its capabilities remain classified. But what we do know is already impressive in a super-fast, AI-powered, stealthy, and weaponized machine that can outpace modern threats and redefine aerial warfare. As we wrap up, it's clear that the SR-71 Blackbird isn't just a legend of the past. In 2025, it has reclaimed its throne here faster, smarter, and deadlier than ever before. It stands as a symbol of what human engineering, innovation, and ambition can achieve when pushed to the limit. In a world of uncertainty, 
it's a reminder that the sky is never the limit to it's just the beginning. Thanks for tuning in to Master Auto Information. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think about the return of the Blackbird. Is this the future of air dominance, or just the beginning of something even bigger? Thanks for watching the video.